world. It is Tuesday, March 7th, 2023, and I can't look out at the window at Defiance because I'm not in Defiance today. Um, but where I am, it is uh, going to be in the low 40s and sunny today, which is a nice change from yesterday because I think um, Defiance had similar weather yesterday with a little bit of rain and kind of coolness. The devotion for today is entitled Lead Me Not by Chris Marischuk. Chris bases the devotion upon 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, a common English Bible adapted verses. No temptation has seized you that isn't common for people. God won't allow you to be tempted beyond your abilities. With the temptation, God will also supply a way out so that you will be able to endure it. <clears throat> and the devotion. Temptation Island was a fantastically terrible reality show several years back. Monogamous couples went to a tropical paradise to test the strength of their relationship when tempted by romantic dinners and lusty late-night hot tub dates with irresistibly attractive female and male models. One TV viewers, reviewer said that the show marked a level of unprecedented sleaziness, and I watched every episode. What couple in their right minds would tempt themselves like this? Imagine the conversations that led them to apply for the show. It'll be fun. We're faithful. We'll be famous. Meanwhile, in Hot Tub Cove, tempting indeed, and certainly not uncommon temptations. Personally, I don't need to be on a manufactured reality show to struggle with temptation. Actual reality is my own personal temptation island, and I don't think that's uncommon. How often have we prayed, lead me not into temptation, yet we lead ourselves there? Temptation is all around. If we can't remove it or avoid it, we name it and turn from it. Maybe the God-given way out, the way to endure it, is to name it out loud to someone else, confess it, and then turn away, reject and repent, and put some distance between yourself and temptation. Maybe those couples on Temptation Island got it right in one small but important way. We do not have to face temptation alone. And the prayer. If you can help stop me from buying a plane ticket there, God, please then please show me the way out of my own temptation island. Amen. Well, I have to say, I've never seen that show, or I have never ever actually heard of it, and it does sound like a very sleazy show. Um, <clears throat> but what, the, what the, the devotion does remind me of is that um, we all have struggles or face struggles in the world doing, to do things that we don't necessarily want to do. Um, or, or no, we shouldn't do, and yet we find ourselves doing them. And it reminded me that of, um, for example, people who are alcoholics and belong to Alcoholics Anonymous. They have something called a sponsor, who is a person that the person can call at any time, day or night, when they're tempted to um, get off the wagon and start drinking again. And just sharing that temptation with someone else and working through it verbally, maybe even in person, um, helps them get through that. And so many other things are like that as well, that when we struggle with, if there's someone that we can sit down with and talk to who understands us, um, they can help help us get through that temptation and avoid it. And I guess the other part of it is God still loves us, even when we fall prey to temptation and do what we know we shouldn't do. But God also places people in our lives to help us through to the other side. Well, I hope you have a good day, um, and I hope to talk to you again sometime tomorrow. I know this one was a little late. Um, not sure when I will get to it tomorrow, but I will certainly try. Take care.